Na, Fury, wie wär's mit einem kleinen Ausritt? Hast du Lust? Tom. Thanks, Jim. Well, you wouldn't happen to know where I could get a couple of tickets for the orphan's charity, would you? By a strange coincidence, I just happened to have two left. <laughs> Good morning, Sheriff. Hello, Pete. <laughs> How's my favorite square dance caller today? Chase that rabbit, chase that coon, chase that pretty gal around the moon. Hey, hang on. Save those golden notes for the dance, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that barnyard fling is better for a man's sciatica than Doc Ketchum's snake oil. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a mighty fine charity, and we're glad to take part. You know, those orphans owe you for a lot of fine holiday dinners, Tom. Speaking of holiday dinners, Jim, Sheriff, have you ever seen this picture of a Packy and his fine-feathered friend? Ah, oh, Joey. What's the matter, Packy? I think you look real good. That's Packy on the left. <laughs> you know, Joey's friend Tom Turkey gave us the Packy story to end them all, Sheriff. You mean there's one I haven't heard? Remind me to tell you sometime. Ah, oh, Pete, I was just a little kid then. You know, Pete, outside of my badge, the most important thing to me is a packy story. And I'm not moving one inch until I've added this one to my collection. Well, you might as well get started. <laughs> well, it was last Thanksgiving, and uh, we was all gathered together. Chris, come on in before you get frostbit. Thanks, Pete. Hi, Hi Jim. Right. Joey. Oh, hi, Mr. Lambert. Looks like the Thanksgiving spirit's really taking hold here at the Broken Wheel. <laughs> you better shuck out of that heavy coat, Chris, and come on out in the kitchen. I'll show you how an expert builds a mince pie. <laughs> oh, there's nothing to bring out Pete's professional instincts like having friends to dinner, especially on Thanksgiving. According to Packy, Pete's in the class all by himself when it comes to making pies. He sure is. Say, Mr. Lambert, where is Packy? Sitting out in the truck, Joey, with a face a mile long. It doesn't sound like him. I don't know what's got into him lately, but he's been moping around like a sore-footed hound dog. Why don't you go see if you can cheer him up, huh? Hi, Packy. Hi. Aren't you gonna come in and help us put up the decorations? Uh-uh. Gosh, I get more conversation out of talking to Fury than I do out of you. Then why don't you talk to him? What's the matter, Packy? Yeah, this isn't the way you're supposed to feel on Thanksgiving. Just so you'll know, us Lamberts aren't coming to the party empty-handed. I'd like you to meet Mr. Tom Turkey. Yum, yum, he sure is <laughs> Oh, it's a mighty fine-looking bird, Chris. I can carve enough white meat off that old boy to fill our innards for a week. <laughs> I guess we've got Packy to thank mostly. He raised old Tom since he was a baby turkey. Come on out here, Packy. Well, congratulations, Packy. I reckon, man and boy, you're just about the best turkey farmer in this valley. Now, if old Tom tastes as good as he looks, there won't nobody be able to get up from the dinner table. But, Pete, and I don't... Never mind, boy. I know what you're going to say. You can have both drumsticks, if you can eat them. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you boys get him in the barn? Yeah, that's the best place for him, all right. We don't want him running off any of this good fat. Come on, Packy. Give Joy a hand. <laughs> Come on, Packy, cheer up. How can I? Tom's my friend. The turkeys don't have any friends. They do so. Why, it's almost like we were brothers. You gotta help me, Joey. I can't stand to see Tom get eaten up. Gosh, Packy, I don't know what to say. Oh, go on. Talking like that's kid stuff. Kid stuff, huh? Well, let me tell you something, Joey Newton. If you don't help me out. We're leaving. Don't 
to get to bring your appetites tomorrow. If us Lambert's got anything to do with it, there'll be nothing left but the carcass. <laughs> and get here early, Packy. I'll make you an Indian war bonnet over the leftover feathers. <laughs> He sure is acting funny. I wonder what's eating that kid. I don't think it's so much what's eating him. It's that turkey he's worried about. Oh, so that's it, huh? Say, Jim. Hmm? Well, do we have to have turkey for Thanksgiving? <laughs> well, no, I guess not, but... Did you ever hear of Thanksgiving without one? Oh, take it from me, Joey. By tomorrow, Packy will be just as hungry as the rest of us. I sure hope you're right. I can't help feeling sorry for the little guy. <laughs> Look, son. Don't you think this has gone about far enough? I think we better have a little talk. Yes, Dad. I'm a little ashamed of you, Packy. That was no way to act in front of our friends. They're not my friends. Not anymore, they're not. Packy! I guess I'm gonna have to give that kid a licking, Stella. Well, now, wait a minute, Chris, please. I don't want to do it, Stella, but the way he's been acting today, he's asking for it. Chris, you were a boy once yourself, or have you forgotten? No. And I haven't forgotten how my dad used to make me toe the mark, either. Look at that empty pen out there. Stella, for Pete's sake, it's not you, too. Remember those long, cold nights when Tom was a baby turkey and Packy kept him in a box under his bed? But, Stella... Think back, Chris. Didn't this ever happen to you when you were a little boy? Oh, I guess so, but not on Thanksgiving. And besides, it was a rabbit, and Dad cured me with a razor strap. Times have changed. Anyway, those terrible whippings you give Packy wouldn't hurt a flea. All right, you know so much about it, you go straighten him out. <laughs> Packy. If that storm on your face is as bad as it looks, we'll all be washed away. Oh, Mom, isn't there something I can do? Tom's not just any ordinary turkey, he's different. Look, darling, there'll be lots of things in this life you won't understand at first. Learning to accept and understand is the biggest part of growing up. I'll never understand about Tom, never. You'll be surprised at how short a time never is. It might help if we talk about what Thanksgiving really stands for. Uh, it's only for a bunch of old pilgrims in ruffled up shirts and funny looking guns. No, Packy. They were brave men and women who risked their lives for liberty and freedom. And if it hadn't been for the turkeys and other things they found here, we mightn't be living in this wonderful country today. You see, darling, everything in this whole world serves a purpose. Oh, Mom, I know it. You know it, but I don't think Tom knows it. I don't know what you're so happy about. In a few hours, you'll just be a pile of bones. Now, serves you right. Poor Packy won't ever speak to me, ever again. You're gobbling like you haven't got a care in the world. Poor Packy's home, eating his heart out. I just wanted to tell you I'm sorry about today. I guess maybe I was just a little bit quick-tempered. I know it isn't always easy to grow up. Good night, son. 
Now you both feel better in the morning. I don't know, Stella. I'm not sure either one of us got through to him. He's not in his room. That little Dickens must have slipped out to crack of dawn. No, Stella, I'm losing my patience with all this nonsense about that turkey. Maybe my dad was right. Now, don't get excited. He's probably just gone over to the Newtons. I'll do more than get excited if that young man tries to wreck a perfectly good Thanksgiving. You said the turkey was gone. That's what it did say. See for yourself. Pretty good latch. I wonder how it got opened. Well, maybe it was a coon. Now, you know as well as I do, Joey, it wasn't no coon. I wonder if we're all thinking the same thing. Well, if you ask me, wherever you find Packy, you'll also find Tom Turkey. Well, what do we do now? Well, it can't take long to round him up. Let's go. Now, hang on a minute, Pete. Oh, I've been feeling a little guilty about packing that turkey myself. Golly, I'm sure glad to hear you say that, Jim, because well, I couldn't sleep last night thinking about it. Well, no matter how big he tries to act sometimes, you got to remember he's still just a little boy. Anybody home? Yeah, in here, Chris. Have you seen Packy? Well, not exactly. We kind of figured that uh, Packy had already been here and gone. What does that mean? Well, now you're jumping to conclusions again. As Joey said, maybe it was a coon that opened the cage. They're pretty tricky, you know. Come on now, Jim, that's pretty thin. Don't tell me that kid of mine's let our Thanksgiving dinner fly the coop. Golly, Mr. Lambert, Packy can't help the way he feels about that old turkey. Well, you know, if the truth were known, I expect we've all been through the same thing. I recollect when I was a kid, we had no sow. I had a chicken named Lucy Bell. How about you, Chris? It was a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that settles it. Why don't we go up to the house, and if Packy doesn't show up soon, well, we can always buy another turkey. And while we're waiting, I'll treat you all with a sliver of pumpkin pie. <laughs> this ought to be safe enough. I don't think anybody would ever find you out here. <laughs> I didn't think to 
bring much food. You just have to do the best you can. You gotta learn how to take care of yourself sometime. I won't be here to help you out with your problems anymore. Hey, what's wrong with you, Tom? Bears don't eat horses or people. They're vegetarians. Now I guess I'll have to walk home. Goodbye, Tom. Better get started to learn how to eat berries or something. Well, goodbye, boy. lathered up, it looks like he's been running a long way. Let's mount up. Don't get scared, Tom. Come on. What are we stopping for? I know how you feel, Chris, but with night coming on, we've got to use our heads. Hey, Fury, what are you doing? Hey, Jim, it's the piece of rape for Lucky's bridle. Here somewhere. Maybe if we look around for tracks, we can tell which way he went. I'll fight him off as long as I 
again. Don't be scared, Tom. I'm with you. Hey, listen. I thought I heard a turkey gobble. I didn't hear nothing. I think your imagination's playing tricks on you. It was my imagination. Fury heard it, too. Hey, there it goes again. Yeah, Joey's right. Can't tell where it's coming from. Fury can't. Follow us. Are you all right, son? I guess so. Boy, Pat, am I sure glad to see you. You're not a half as glad as I am, Joey. I don't know who's the scaredest me or Tom. You were about to say, Packy? Couldn't have been Tom you was talking about, could it, Packy? <laughs> That's about the prettiest sound I ever heard. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know, Sheriff, them hamburgers was the best you ever tasted, even if I do say so myself. Well, I'll tell you, when I give up the law business, I'm going to write a whole book of Packy stories, and this one's going to head the list. By the way, whatever happened to old Tom? Well, that's the best part of the story. See this picture here? It was taken at the county fair. That's a blue ribbon Packy's holding. Tom on the grand championship. Well, if you ask me, that bird gave all of you the bird. <laughs> <laughs>